there, Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-November 2023 general tarot update. It's Raina here. Normally, when I'm doing a, um, a small spread like this, I have it, like, more close up. But it was, like, doing slow motion, <laughs> which I didn't want. So, for some reason, the micro or the macro version is doing it regularly. So, I'm, I hold up the cards anyway. So... Anyway, um, this is a very unusual spread. I got a bunch of reversed cards. This is your, a lot of your, you are having your birthday month. There's also a new moon on the 13th. So this reading is intended until the middle of um, November, which is approximately the 15th or so. So this covers that new moon period. And the heart of the matter certainly goes along with that. We have the full card which is kind of like that reset. Zero point, starting a new cycle, and starting it from scratch. So you've had eclipses in your sign, in your opposite sign of Taurus. That cycle is now over with. And it can be this idea of absolutely new beginnings, not knowing where they're going to go. And I, I think of that flower of life is the vortex or kind of that womb of creation where you can, uh, I was going to say, put your order into the universe, what it is that you want, your intentions, set your intentions for the next um, 12 months of that solar cycle and see what happens. So happy birthday to any of you that are uh, having a birthday. And, if, if, uh, well, I don't want to talk about uh, Scorpio rising because sometimes people ask me, can I listen for my rising sign? You can do whatever you want. Um, but it's not the same as astrology. Astrology, there's specific reasons why you can have the, the reading for the sun and the rising. But it's, what you know, whatever floats your boat. So, yeah, um, so why would there be all these other cards that are reversed? Well, actually, the last card, the devil card in reverse, is actually, to me, a good sign. So it's really undoing some of the things that, um, maybe rethinking them, things that you thought were important, that you realize really aren't. And actually, you, since you have Pluto transiting your third house, when it went back into Capricorn, this can be on the mental level that this is affecting you so much, where you're rethinking things and you're really uh, holding yourself accountable for those things. Um, so in the past position, we have the star card reversed. I'm going to just hold it up upright. And... Um, when it's in the upright position, it's like this beacon of hope. It's like someone who has been through maybe the dark night of the soul can see a ray of light, can see that something is really good and is meant to be for them. And this can sometimes accompany someone that has crossed over in their life who is giving them a sign. Maybe they are, they're realizing that a person isn't really dead, that they still have consciousness, that they're, that they will see that person again if they want to. Um, and you know, that mourning process, I mean, the star card itself isn't about mourning the loss of something, but anytime we have a loss, there can be that disillusionment that accompanies that loss or that disappointment. And the star card is like restoring hope. Well, there's something here with the star card in reverse that made it hard for you maybe to start anew. Maybe you didn't believe in, in yourself or you didn't believe in life. You thought that life was just going to suck no matter what. And now you are on that precipice of change. You may have had with these eclipses some big changes that in some cases may have been hard to really deal with and you were forced to deal with them. 
the higher message again i'm going to hold this upright but it is reversed is the king of cups reversed this can be somebody in your life a mature i'm just talking about chronologically not emotionally uh male water sign in some cases i mean this is predominantly they even have like a, the fish so it could be pisces but i'll just say any water sign so cancer pisces or scorpio individual who is problematic in your life and this can be the father the king can be the father or a boss it could be a boss if this is something to do with your work life and the point is is that this could be an authority figure and this person may be problematic and you're not realizing that they are what is wrong in this equation that maybe they're gaslighting you somebody with um the king of cups in reverse can be highly manipulative and they can be you know trying to get their needs met at the expense of other people so be careful about anyone in your life who has made you question yourself i think that scorpio is one of those signs that it's hard to fool uh, a scorpio i was thinking that that old commercial it's hard to fool mother nature well it's hard to fool scorpio but anything is possible when you feel vulnerable. What crosses you? And that could be a father too, like I think I said, is the moon card. So the moon card is a card of, of uh, Pisces in particular. I would, you know, the moon rules cancer in astrology. So we can include that as well. So that might give more clarification of this individual. But the moon card can be about self-delusion about the person who is lying to themselves about a particular situation maybe because they want to believe that something is true that actually isn't and these kinds of situations are not uncommon um, in life obviously people have a tendency to go into that denial when um all signs point to something that they really don't want to accept that has to do with somebody that they care for. And, oh, another thing the King of Cups in reverse can be is a drinking problem. So an example would be if you feel that something is not right in your life and you can't put your finger on it and you are with somebody that has had a drinking problem in the past it's possible that they have started using again behind your back and they're not being forthcoming the moon card can be that there's something like kind of hanging in the air that is going unacknowledged because the person doesn't want to um admit to something and you know that there's something going on. And this is something that Scorpio people excel in. You specialize in this type of like realizing something is up, but not being able to put your finger on it. And it can drive you crazy if you let it. Um, you know, sometimes the best thing a person can do is to, you know, trust in their own instincts. And not allow anybody to gaslight them and make them feel like they're crazy but you don't need somebody else's um i was going to say approval but what i mean is you don't need them to even tell you the truth because once you know the truth you'll feel it in your bones and it won't be like paranoia it'll be like yeah i don't need that person because you know what i know that when people have addictions, they have shame and they don't want to admit that they're, they have failed again at staying sober. And that's just one example, you know, like with a boss, it could be somebody who is kind of even weak as a boss and you feel that they betrayed you in some way. Well, the star card could be some kind of a dream that you had that faded. Maybe you thought you were going to assume a position of 
power or a greater status and that fell by the wayside because somebody uh, allowed another employee to kind of um, intimidate them or whatever and you feel like they are weak. Well, the higher message is saying, yes, this person isn't very strong and they're unreliable or they're un trustworthy and you can't believe what they say so why are you even bothering what's coming in and again there's another king but this is a wayward king the king of pentacles in reverse so this is um this is a, a, this can be some kind of authority figure or a uh, male who is imbalanced when it comes to the material resources. If this is a boss, they're all about the bottom line, the dollar, the almighty dollar. And they look at everything in the world. They're materialistic. So they're going to um, approach you, approach the world. They're going to treat you like you're a commodity if this is a personal relationship. Um, and this may be, again, you know, something that is a, um, a pattern that you have experienced. Maybe you experienced this with your own father, that he was an alcoholic and he was materialistic and you felt that he was, um, unhappy as he was pursuing all these worldly things. And yet he was successful doing so. So it was hard, you know, to, to, to kind of like understand that because you may have respected his success and you couldn't really um, realize that ultimately it didn't make a hill of beans difference because um, maybe he was not um, at peace. And now you have another situation with somebody like this. And you're going in this totally different direction. So sometimes you realize that you've outgrown certain scenarios, that you no longer resonate with the way that people conduct themselves. And that's okay. You don't have to feel guilty if you no longer um, feel like you're on the same page with someone. And then the outcome, again, I'm going to hold up, is the devil in reverse. And I think that this is actually a good thing. You see that devil um, as the puppet master of the person. This card of the devil can be over materialism. By the way, this card connects to Capricorn. So the king of pentacles, that could be a wayward Capricorn for sure. Um and it's all about the idea of, of um, you know, are we owned? Are we possessed by our possessions? Are we, you know, really at peace with our life? And this is talking about you as well. Now, it could be that there is this, uh, yeah, you know, when I get like the kings or queens, sometimes I think of narcissists that the person may have in their life. And this could touch upon two aspects of this individual with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, money and emotions, or even like an addiction, using these as tools of manipulation. But it looks like you're going to free yourself from the clutches of this person or the situation. Because... Maybe like with the moon in the challenge position, you haven't been doing your spiritual work. You've been too much in the world, immersed in the world. And so the end result is your life is kind of like live on that level instead of something more, you know, something loftier than that. So, you know, as I said, we're having this new moon on the 13th. And so hopefully that will, you know, put you in this sense of like the full card of, of uh, you know, creating a new reality for yourself. 
All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my double astrology readings that are um, specially priced as a package deal. An hour of natal chart analysis, an hour of transits um, for a discounted price versus buying these two readings separately. It's called my deep dive reading. And I do have other readings, um, astrology as well, as well as a personal tarot reading. You can find out more information at the link below. I'm at rainamoonastrology.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.